just blessed morning to you and your family. Sharon here. Just wanting to share a cool project today with you guys. I'm um, doing some glass painting. And um, stick with me. Let's get started. So what I will be using is these paints. They are glass paint. And this can be baked in the oven. Um, of these different colors I have. I have copper, gold, yellow, green, um, black and blue. So these are the colors I'll be using. They come in these little containers. And I will be using this plate. I bought a pack of these. Um, it was inexpensive, of course. I bought six in the pack. And um, what I saw it had was these cool designs around here. And I just want to follow that curve of the design and get it painted. Um, I did not want to paint on the front side because we, you know, can eat um, food and other things on it. So I paint. I will be painting the back side of it. So let me just get prepared and we'll get started. I'm of course using a brush. This is an outliner um, paint that I got and I will show you the other cool ideas I did with this also. So I have these little straws, straw like things, I, some type of craft item, I don't know. So I use these to stir my paint. You can either shake it or you can stir it. Um, when you shake it, you don't get all these sediments from the bottom though. So I like to um, mix it with these straws and um, make sure everything is incorporated so you get the good color. You achieve the, the right color that it's supposed to be. So the color I'm starting with will be the yellow. Now I'm not going to be washing, um, sorry, I'm not going to be drying off my brush from the colors. So each color will, will be incorporated in the next. So I'm just following those nice curved lines there and getting that painted. Now I'm doing the colors throughout so I'll be missing pieces and just filling in the colors. So I'm just following the curve. And continuing to do so with the yellow right through. When I'm finished with the yellow, I'm going to change the color and go on to another color. This is what it starts to look like. So I'll just continue doing so. So I've done with the yellow and I've painted on the blue. Now because my brush had the yellow on it, you get a little tinge of a blue-green shade coming on. Very, very light of course. So again, I'm just going to wipe my brush and dip it into the other color and go ahead and paint on that. Now this is the gold shade I'm working with here. Just following the curves again and continuing. So I just choose where I'm putting the gold. So I've started on my leaf green now. And of course, you, if you're dealing with paint, you know that paint dries a darker shade than when you first put it on. So I'll just continue doing that and filling in with all the colors as I go along. 
still following that curve shape to achieve the look that I want. This one here is a lovely copper color. I don't know if you can see it that well. But when it's dried, you're going to see the color effect. So this is one that has been dried already. So you see the lovely color splashes that you get from the front. And this is where it was painted on. So this is the look that you achieve. Of course, I'm going to clean all the top of it. What I have here is a salt and pepper shaker. I've already removed the top from it, the cover. And I want to, you know, let this tie into the Easter decor theme that I'm doing. So I will be painting this also. So... I'm going to start. I'm just doing random curves, nothing fancy. I'm painting on. Now I'm using a wrong brush because my flat brush was used in another project and um, it's not cleaning as nice as I would have wanted. So this color is the copper color that I just put on. And I'm just going to shift now to the green. Remember, I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just going in. Creating whatever pattern I want to. Now oh, these are very cool projects that you can get done. I'm just following the curve of the bottle and kind of bringing it in in a swirl at the bottom. So this is a lovely violet color I'm just going to come in here with. It really adds a splash. doing the top of course because that's where the lid is going to go. And I think I want to put the violet here also so I'm just going to do that one time. So you see this is very quick project you can get done. So I've just loaded the brush with the gold and I'm just going to fill in with the gold. Now I prefer to use a flat brush when I'm doing these, but like I said, the brush was not cleaning as nice, so I opt to use this one. leave it to dry so this is what I have so far so I'll just leave this to dry this dries very quickly though so I'm just using my outliner to outline the parts We have painted where the lines join together. This is just creating an added look for your pieces. And this is how it looks. Really pretty. So this one was already dried, was done first. And you can still go in and create that um, crackle glass, glass look for your pieces. So 
I'm just gonna let them dry and I'm show you I'll show you the other pieces that I did. So these pieces were done. But that's same. I said crackle glass, look just now the stained glass. Look. Now this was a blue vase, this is the original blue here. And I just went in and used the violet and the gold just to give it a nicer look. Um, you know. If necessary, you don't have to put anything in it because it looks good already. And I used my outliner and just outlined the areas. So you achieve such a lovely look. It's very, very simple. These are things that I have there, like I said, for years. And I just thought I would revamp it. So this was another one. I use this on my counter with lemons and so on. But I mean, you know, the look is really. So I did go in and put those lines with my outline. So these are just pieces that I did out of the, um, paint for glass. And this is the ones that you can bake that, um, to keep it, you know, permanent. So just some ideas. So again, just a few ideas to make your table setting look a little nicer for the Easter holidays. And these are all colors that are being used for Easter. So I hope you have enjoyed these. And I will continue to be posting more painting ideas. So guys, just some ideas for you to enjoy for the Easter. I will show you you know, a few others after. And I will show you when we do go up on the hills for Easter egg hunt. So, until then, see you next time. Have a blessed day from my house to yours. Catch you later.